Hello, and welcome to WP Forms. Today we're going to go over how to create a simple order form for your WordPress site, and how to integrate the form with online payments using the WP Forms plugin. WP Forms allows you to integrate your forms to accept payments through two payment providers, PayPal and Stripe. Our PayPal add-on will let users submit a payment via PayPal after the form has been submitted. They'll then be redirected to PayPal's website, and either sign into their account, or continue as a guest and submit their payment. Our Stripe add-on will allow users to add their payment information directly into your form via a credit card field and submit both the payment and the form information at the same time. But before we begin, it's important to note that in order to integrate your form with our payment add-ons, you need to make sure you're using the Pro License level of WP Forms or higher. You'll also need to have either a PayPal or Stripe account in order to integrate your form with either platform. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the Plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site and on the Plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the Settings page of WP Forms. You can find the key on the Downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can head over to the Add-ons page to activate three add-ons. PayPal, Stripe, and the Form Template Pack. Go to WP Forms, Add-ons, scroll down to find the PayPal, Stripe, and Form Template Pack add-ons, and click on the Install Add-on button for each one. Once it's done, the add-on status will appear as active, and you're all set. If you'd like to collect payments via Stripe, you'll also need to make sure to connect your site and your forms to your Stripe account. To do this, go to WP Forms, Settings, and click on the Payments tab. You should then see a field labeled Connection Status and see a blue button labeled Connect with Stripe. Directly underneath it, you'll also see a field called Test Mode along with a checkbox to enable it. A really important note, once you're done testing, you'll need to come back to uncheck this box and repeat the connection process since Test and Live Modes are connected separately. You can check the Test Mode box and click on the Connect with Stripe button. The next page will ask you to authorize your connection with Stripe, and you may need to fill in some additional information if you haven't activated your account with Stripe already. Once you've agreed to the requirements, you'll then be redirected to your site's admin area. Now that Stripe is connected, we can go into the Form Builder. The Form Template Pack add-on in WP Forms comes with several pre-made templates, including an order form so you can either create your form from scratch or use our template to save some time. Let's give our form a name and we'll use the billing and order form template. If you decide to make your form from scratch, you won't see this pop up at all. If, however, you do decide to use the billing and order form template, you will see a pop up reminding you to configure your payment provider settings. We'll take care of that once our form fields have been set up, so for now, let's close out of it. The template comes with several default fields already, like fields for a user's name, email, phone number, and address. But if you don't need these specific fields, feel free to go ahead and delete them and customize the template as you see fit. If you scroll down, you'll see that the template comes with a multiple choice field labeled Available Items, which you can relabel and customize to your form-specific needs. Or if you'd prefer, you can use our other payment item fields, like the checkbox items or drop-down items. Regardless of which item field you pick, each field will allow you to customize the names for each item and add a price too. You'll also notice that the template includes a total field, which will display the user's total amount based on the selections they've made in the form so far. If you're going to be collecting payments via Stripe, be sure to add a credit card field to your form. If you'd like to give users the option to choose between PayPal or Stripe to submit their payment, We'll want to add a multiple choice field and create these two options. Let's call this payment field Payment Type. And let's say that we only want the credit card to appear if the user selects credit card as their payment type. 
We'll click on the credit card field, go down to the conditional logic section, and say that we only want this field to appear if the user selected credit card in the multiple choice field called payment type. Once you've finished adding in and customizing your form fields, we'll head over to the Payments tab on the left-hand side. Once we're on the Payments tab, you'll see our two options on the left, PayPal and Stripe. Let's first check out our PayPal settings. We'll want to make sure that the checkbox labeled Enable PayPal Standard Payments is turned on, and along with that, you'll see some additional settings option appear to get you up and running. You can enter the email address associated with your PayPal account and select a mode, Production, or Test Sandbox. This second option allows you to submit test payments through your forms to make sure everything is working correctly. Let's set it to Test Sandbox mode for now until you've done your testing and are ready to go live. Next is the payment type, where you can decide if this payment will be for products and services or count as a donation. And finally, whether or not you'd like to ask the user for a shipping address. Since we're giving users the option to use either PayPal or Stripe to submit their payment, we'll need to turn on our conditional logic here too. So we'll check the box at the bottom called Enable Conditional Logic and we'll create this rule. Process this charge if the payment type field is PayPal. Now we'll go visit our Stripe settings. Like with the PayPal settings, we'll want to make sure we check the box labeled Enable Stripe Payments. You can add a description for this payment and whether or not you would like Stripe to send a payment receipt to the email address that a user enters in the email field in your form. Like with our PayPal settings, we'll turn on conditional logic and create our rule. Process this charge if the payment type field is credit card. You can also set up a recurring subscription payment if this payment is meant to be recurring. You can specify how often the payment will reoccur, whether it will be yearly, quarterly, or any of the available options here. Once you've finished with your payment provider settings, save your changes, and we're ready to embed our brand new order form to our site. Go to your dashboard, click on Pages, Add New, and let's add a title. From there, we'll click on the plus icon below the title and either scroll down to widgets to find WP Forms, or you can type WP Forms in the search bar above. We'll then click on our order form, hit Publish, and we're all set. Before you go live, be sure to test your form thoroughly to make sure that everything from submitting the form to receiving the email notifications is working properly. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can learn more about building smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.